Good morning, Guardians. The Hijabi Gamer here, and it is Tuesday, and that means weekly reset for Destiny, the original Destiny, the first Destiny, by far my favorite Destiny. And just a warning, I'm uploading right now. I did solo Challenge of the Elders. I did beat Sa Challenge of the Elders. I can't tell you the bosses for Challenge of the Elders. Um, I got 30,000 points, didn't die, zero, zero deaths, but I was using, I had the setting set wrong, so it was using the microphone that is sitting over here, so you will hear me, but the audio quality kind of sucks, I finally switched to, I realized it after I did that video, and I updated it, so now you can hear me through this microphone instead, but the audio is meh, but I did solo challenge of the elders, anyway, um, this week in Destiny, we, um, yeah, I, I, I'll admit I haven't really checked anything out yet because I solo challenge the others. I mean, look, precision kill bonus is my jam. So, this week we have, for Crucible, zone control. 6v6, team objective. Now, I'm hearing mixed things about Crucible. Primarily, it's really that bad to get, really hard to get a Crucible match. And this is going to be even harder because you need 12 players. I think they might drop it down to, like, 10. But, yeah, 6v6, team objective. Expect a wait. If you even get a team. Which is why I remind people. If you really want to play Crucible in Original Destiny. Private matches are still a thing. You can do private matches. And not only can you do private matches in cru like Crucible modes. Like Zone Control. Or anything else in Original Destiny. You can also do Sparrow Racing League. Yes. You can do Sparrow Racing League private matches. So you go under Private Match. And you set game options. So you go to game type. And it's not highlighted. But it's the last one right over here. Spell racing. Pick that. Because then you have to pick the map. Now the map you have to pick something that's highlighted. So like campus. Mar Mar Martius I guess that is what it is. And then you can pick like lab count. Time of day. Enemy combatants. But you can still do private matches. In original Destiny. Crucible and Sparrow Racing League. So Sparrow Racing League is still a thing. In original Destiny. Uh, I liked it. I wasn't very good at it. I kind of suck at racing games. If you saw that one time. I played Mario Kart with the Greeks and Gamers team. Um, I lost nearly every match. Because I really don't play a lot of racing stuff. Um, Sundays are very difficult for me to do anything late. Because I have to be at work the next day early. Especially during the holidays. When I have to be at work at like 6. Sometimes 5 a.m. Plus um, now I have a D&D &D thing going on so but that one time i lost every time anyway that's crucible and private matches um good luck on that next for a weekly story playlist which is one of my favorite things you have um mars and venus which obviously is stories that take place in mars and venus so this is the third set of stories in destiny of stuff like the ishtar collective which is one of my favorite missions because ghost gets all giddy and excited about being in the ishtar library he gets so happy it's so cute uh yeah, I, I'm still a girl, okay? Ghost is cute. He can be adorable at times. Anyway, um, you're always going to have heroic. Enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. You have exposure. Guardian shields are increased but do not replenish. Which I've said multiple times, the best way to deal with exposure. I mean, this is a story playlist. It's not exactly like a nightfall. Um, is uh, Red Death. Red Death is the best way to do it because each kill heals you. But... Yeah, Red Death. Or you could like temporarily take Red Death out, use Red Death, and go back again. Then finally have Airborne. Players deal more damage while in the air. Um, story missions are the best way to farm legendary marks. I've said this before. You get a Treasure of Ages box. And each time you do one, up to five times, you can get between 20 and 35 legendary marks. So you can get, in one week, over 100 legendary marks. I remember back in the day when you had to do a daily story play, story mission and you got 15 legendary marks. That's how I got my first scout rifle. Um, no time to explain. Not to, no time to explain. I always carry it with me. This one here. Not like the others. My favorite scout rifle. Because I worked really, really hard to get this scout rifle. I did story missions and I was under leveled. So that's story missions. Then you have the um, Tiva Crisis Heroic. So strikes. You have heroic. You're always going to have heroic for that too. Solar burn. Solar damage from any source is greatly increased. I love solar burn. I will admit it because I love playing Gunslinger right now in Original Destiny. I have jumped between Gunslinger. I jumped between classes. So I played War Class Variety in Original Destiny. But I love solar burn because Golden Gun with solar burn is like brutal. And then add Celestial Nighthawk and you're basically eating through a boss. Specialist. Special weapon damage is favored. 
And finally, fresh troops. Some enemy squads have been fortified. So you're basically getting a ton of enemies. So see, you might get matches. You might not. Personally, I don't see it a bad thing. I like to solo. So get on that. Next, you have um, the uh, Weekly Nightfall. The Weekly Nightfall is the Bond Brothers. Or I think that's what they're called. It's the Brothers mission on the Dread now. That's the one with the bouncy dude who bounces around. And then the she dude. And they bounce around. And they, they, they remind me of some kind of kid's cartoon. I'm trying to think there's something that involved bouncy bouncy bubble characters i guess i don't know it's um uh, the shield brothers they're the bouncy bouncy dudes uh where the, yeah they're they they're, i i nearly soloed them and then someone joined me at some point so fun um they're they're fun i guess but yeah the worst part about them is the tank at the beginning because you go through and you immediately face this tank that can basically one shot kill you. It is a nightmare dealing with that tank. Plus the scions at the beginning seem to be fit with match game and you need void damage for them. Those things, w I remember doing them and they would not die. They were void. So shield brothers, the modifiers for the nightfall are uh, void burn. So hey, uh, at least they'll eat through those stupid little scion Kips. Special weapon damage is favored, so that's great. Then you have Juggler. No ammo drops for your equipped weapon. This is both a good and a bad. On the bad side, you won't get ammo drops for the weapon you have equipped. On the positive side, you will get more heavy and special ammo drops. So if you're using your primary weapon, you won't get primary ammo. Instead, you will get special and heavy. So I've noticed when jugglers in effect, I usually get more heavy ammo because I'm a big primary weapon. So you got to remember to juggle your weapons, but you will get more heavy. So that's a good thing. Ironclad, of course. More enemies have shields. Because, of course. And then finally, Daybreak, which is awesome. Look, that might actually help. The darkness grows stronger and so do you. Form a fire team of three and unleash your light with greatly increased ability recharge. I love Daybreak. I wish we had Daybreak in Destiny 2. I love that. Your super is co almost constant. You constantly get your super. It just keeps going up faster than usual. So that might make things easier against the Bond Brothers. Shield Brothers. I don't know why I keep calling them Bond Brothers. Shield Brothers. That's the Vanguard Nightfall. Then we have Challenge of the Elders. Which as you can see because it is filled in. I did finish it. I did solo it. I did upload it. It took me about 30 minutes to do it. I got the 30,000 points, which means if I go to Varix right now, he will give me a gun. Woo! More guns. Anyway, for the modifiers, you have catapult, which the catapult, at the beginning, I was like dismissing it like, ah, what's the point of catapult? It's primary, uh, primary um, uh, precision kill bonus. What's the point of catapult? Catapult is a great thing against the Cabal with their shields. I would have died numerous times over if not for catapult. So catapult, wonderful. Then you have precision kill bonus, which is my jam. It's my thing. I love the precision kill bonus. I easily made it to 30,000. And at the end, I got just tired and I just shot him with my hand cannon. I could have gotten much higher than 30,000. I just, you'll see at the end I got it. And small arms. Primary weapon damage is favored. So seriously, at the end, his health was like almost, it was like, Maybe two millimeters, three millimeters, and I just went and just kept shooting at him with my hand cannon. I pr there was probably another round of reinforcements. There was a round of reinforcements bouncing around me, and I got him down and just got tired of doing it. Uh, the bosses are first the fallen, not taken fallen. So the uh, pilot servitor of war wrecked fallen catch, pain in the butt, but easy peasy, really easy. Just be aware of the vandals; they will gang up on you. And they will jump at you with their sword. So you got to be prepared for that. They will jump at you. The second is the Vex. The not taken Vex. So it's the large Minotaur. That has that. War push attack. Just make sure you are in hiding. When he does that. A sniper rifle is great to use against him. I suck at sniping. I will admit I'm better with a scout rifle. Because I, I use a scout rifle in place of a sniper rifle. Um, but a sniper rifle helps. Um. Just make sure you're in, you're not within his line of sight. When he does a hua push attack and move, because if you like attack him in the middle, he will start focusing there, and he has a lot of attacks. So you just move around a lot. But other than that, piece of cake. Just oh, with the first one, the fallen. Remember, shanks are not a precision kill. So just. And finally, the third one is a uh, cabal strategist Val Araun, the bane of my existence. 
I got lucky. I had my super up from the previous attack. One trick you can do. So one trick you can do is this. So the timing starts from the moment the... So what you do is this. You wait in the the area until your super comes up. Because um, once he announces the boss, the timer starts. So you wait for your super to come up. Then you go in and you die. And then you come back and the start, you know, the timer restarts every time you die. You, re you will then start the match with a full super. So basically what you do is you go in, you wait for your, so you wait in the area. You wait for your super to come up. Once your super comes up, you die, and then you start the next. The, you start the same round again, but with your super fully up. Great way to do it. Um, but yeah, you get thirty thousand points in one match. You get a gun from Varix. You get a total of ninety thousand over. It doesn't matter how many matches. You get a piece of armor from Varix. I, I actually went up a rank. I should be checking that. Out. I'm at seventeen now. Don't forget the bounties. Um, and finally. The raid is Death Singer and Crota Challenge. That means it is uh, Crota's end. Also, before I forget, I forgot to mention, don't forget with um, the Nightfall to pick up the bounties from Zavala. Zavala has three bounties. You need to pick those up. In addition to the bounties of the Bounty Board, because those are the big three weekly Nightfall bounties. The ones that get you the kick butt sniper rifle. The one that everyone wants that you gotta do within 30 minutes. I have that sniper rifle. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my soloing challenge of the elders. Zero deaths, 30,000 points with Ace of Spades. Uh, and if you're going to go with Ace of Spades, honestly, Ace of Spades is probably not the best hand cannon to use. Uh, they say if you're going to do precision kills, I know with Ace of Spades, do a precision kill, it returns a, you know, a bullet to them, you know, that's great. But Ace of Spades has explode, you know, like a uh, firefly or like the explosion. And the surrounding explosion will could potentially kill enemies, which then gives you kills instead of precision kills. So you really should be using a hand cannon like Hawkmoon. I'll admit it, I should have been using a hand cannon like Hawkmoon. But I, I feel Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades is my thing. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with Destiny players, and I hope to see you in the tower.